Unified Talk is out and available in Canada. There's a few things that you're going to need to know before you get started, so let's take a quick look at that. The first thing is going to be price. The price is going to be $12.99 Canadian, and this is going to be per number per month. You can select an area code and a local number that's been validated as spam free. Emergency calling is available because it supports E911. The total amount of monthly minutes is going to be 3000 per number, and they also have the SMS feature available, and you can send 50 SMS messages per month. Number porting is not currently available. I did attempt to do this anyways, but it failed, uh, so that hopefully will be available down the road. I have a few numbers I want to port over. Now to get started, you want to make sure that you have early access enabled on your account. You're going to want to install Unified Talk Application version 1.210 or later. This is available right now in the early access channel, so you want to make sure you have that feature enabled. You're going to want to have a compatible Unify host, which is going to be one of the consoles such as the Dream Machine Pro, Dream Machine SE, and a Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus can also be used if you don't have a Unify gateway. PoE switches are recommended to use with your Unify talk devices. The Unify talk devices that are now available are these ones. I have two of them already installed in my house. Let's go ahead and get this installed. Here I am at my UDM Pro dashboard. As you can see right over here, I have early access enabled. You want to make sure you have that before we get started. The Unify talk up icon is up here at the top. Just gonna select that and it's gonna take me over to the setup wizard. So the first thing we wanna do is select the country. There's only two countries that's available, the United States and Canada. I'm gonna be selecting Canada for this installation. And then I'm gonna select terms of service. Once we have that selected, we'll click on start setup. All right, so it's detected one of my phones so far. It's the only one I have plugged in right now, which is the touch max. And it's gonna want me to select a user for this and an area code. So all the provinces are listed in here. I'm just outside of Toronto, inside Ontario. So I'm gonna select one of the Ontario Toronto area codes and then click on next. And now we get the subscription option. So for the subscription option, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put in all your credit card information and address information. Once you have all your information entered, you can go ahead and click on the subscribe now option at the bottom. It's gonna to wanna to confirm your emergency services information. So this is gonna be for the E911 service. You want to put in the full address of the location where the phone is installed. Once you have everything entered in, you can click on next. It's going to go ahead and activate the service, assign a phone number and update the hardware. My setup is now complete. It's going to provision my phone. This takes about a minute or so, and then you can go ahead, pick up your device and start making phone calls. It should work immediately. Fast forward a couple of days. I have this running for a little bit now. I'm at my dashboard for Unified Talk. You can see that the service is activated. Over here on the left-hand side, it gives you a little bit of information about the service and the health status of it. You can see I have one number available right now. Once they allow porting, I'm going to be porting over a few more numbers. Let me know how much time I've used. Call minutes, this is the beginning of the month, so this has all been refreshed. SMS usage. Over here on the left-hand side, we can go to assignments. I only have one phone connected. I'll be setting up my second one shortly. And then over here on the left-hand side, you can have engagement. And this is where you can set up a smart attendant. And then the next option is going to be system log. And it just shows all your incoming and outgoing phone calls, um, as well as text messages. I haven't tested out the text messages, but I will be doing that soon. Then you have critical messages over here, devices, telephony, and then billing information. I just have one subscription and then you also have the settings in the settings section we have numbers and subscription and so you'd have a list of all your assigned phone numbers and your total payment up here at the top easy to follow for purchase numbers you just have to click on this and you can add additional numbers port numbers is not available so hopefully you're gonna come soon to Canada that would be nice to have that feature okay so over here on the left hand side is porting again this feature is not available for Canadians uh, if we go down to the next feature right now, it's call settings. So now you have the call settings for audio file settings, the ring back, the hold music, etc. And then you have additional settings down here, call park, and then some call blocking rules. Next, we have the voicemail settings. You have your global voicemail settings where you can enable this or you can enable instructions. And then you also have the timeout option over here. And then you have global contacts. I don't have anything in here, but I could upload a CSV file or I can add contacts manually. Then we have emergency calling. This is the service address. If you're moving, you can just edit this to update that address. And then you have notifications over here. I think this is kind of cool. Uh, you have the option to use Microsoft Teams, Slack, or you can get email and then inside system. And then you have your system settings over here 
And if you had a third party sub provider, you'd be able to add it within here. And that's pretty much it. That's just the basic overview of Unified Talk. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If there's features that you're interested in, just let me know and I can go through that as well. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.